Today, I am coming to you with another affordable New York City apartment tour. Just when we thought the deals couldn't get better, this listing popped up. This is a studio apartment in Soho for $1,000. $410 a month featuring exposed brick and ivy clad buildings. This apartment is located at 125 Sullivan Street between Prince and Spring Street. It is a fourth floor walk up in a pet friendly building. I want to say as a disclaimer, this apartment is in no way a scam. I went to view it last week with a broker who walked me through the apartment and I'll be showing you the video I took a little later on. So let's take a look at the photos here. So as I mentioned, this apartment features hardwood floors, high ceilings, and the classic New York City exposed brick you can see right here. It is also a corner unit, which means it has three full-sized windows and lots of natural light, which is exceptionally rare for Manhattan apartments. Two of the windows are also south facing, which makes it even more light filled. While this unit is at the back of the building, it does have a fire escape and views of beautiful ivy clad buildings surrounding it. This apartment also has a full size double wide closet is on the wall dividing the kitchen and bedroom area. So you may be wondering what the catch is for such a cheap apartment. Well, this is a classic old New York apartment meaning the shower is in the kitchen. This is how older tenement buildings were rigged. The water only went to the kitchen. And so a lot of these older buildings have this shower in the kitchen situation. The kitchen itself is filled with light and has a very clean white look. There's lots of storage space. Um, there's a full stove and room for a table or desk in front of this window right here And here is the view of the beautiful ivy clad buildings that the kitchen overlooks You could easily put a table or a chair overlooking this so there is no floor plan for this unit But I'm gonna guess is approximately 250 square feet. It is a small unit There's no doubt about it and it actually looks a little bit smaller in person than in pictures before viewing it I would have maybe guessed that it was 350 square feet, but it was definitely smaller than that now You may be wondering why is this apartment so cheap? Soho is notoriously one of the most expensive neighborhoods in New York City. The average studio there at the beginning of 2020 went for approximately $2,700 a month. Um, and this apartment is almost half of that, as you can see. So what is the catch? So here is the catch. <laughs> So the toilet is in the hallway. It is a private bathroom. It's not shared. It's your own toilet and you have a key to it, which ensures that it stays locked while you're not using it. But you do have to walk about 15 steps from your front door, past the staircase and the door of another unit to the door of your toilet. As you can see, it is quite literally just a tiny room with a toilet. There's no sink, no frills, and they did an okay job of hiding it here. But when I went to view it in person, I could vouch that it could probably use a cleaning as you can see from the floor here. That being said, it does fit the expectation for a $1,410 price tag on a studio in New York City. As for transport, the location of this apartment is excellent. As I said earlier, you are right in between three of the greatest neighborhoods in New York City, Soho, Greenwich Village, Tribeca, all at once. You are 500 feet away from the Spring Street subway station with the C and E trains. And if you walk 0.19 miles, you can be at Houston Street um, and get the one train. You can also get the R and RW at Prince Street, 0.26 miles. I have to say this is definitely one of the best locations in New York City. So much transport and so many things close by. As I said, Trader Joe's is a three minute walk. Hudson River is a 10 minute walk. You have all of Soho, all of the village, um, Prince Street, Spring Street, literally everything right at your doorstep. And I think that's what really makes this unit remarkable. So lastly, we're just gonna skim through this video the broker posted. So. So let's take a look at this. So here is the entranceway. As I said, a fourth floor walk up. It's a classic kind of dingy tenement style building. Um, you can see it's apartment 19. Here is the kitchen. As you can see, it has so much natural light, which is so rare for this area, um, especially for $1,400. Um, and it has these great big windows. Uh, only one counter, but I mean, what do you expect? It is honestly beautiful for the price. And it is really small, as you can tell from here. So going into the bedroom, beautiful bedroom, honestly, here's the shower. The shower is definitely a little dingy, could use some work, but it is a shower and it is a $1,400 apartment. So, you know, what can you say really? <laughs> Going into the bedroom here, as you can see, you have this beautiful ivy outside your window and lots of light as well as a fire escape, which is really nice. And this giant closet. Um, this is a really good sized closet for a Manhattan apartment and honestly quite good for the price. And the hardwood floors are in great condition. They look amazing. Fire escapes can almost be used as a balcony. Don't tell anyone I said that, but as long as you keep them clear, you can definitely go out there and sit there every once in a while. Just make the most of having a miniature outdoor space. 
As you can see, the exposed brick, very beautiful, very rare for the area. And here is the classic shower again. Definitely not the highlight of this apartment, but it is why it is so cheap. You have all this storage space up here, and then you have this great view of the buildings, as I said, and some other people's patios. Um, some other people who are paying a lot more money than you, but have pretty much the same apartments, maybe a bit bigger. The buzzer, etc. So now the broker is going to show us where the bathroom is. So you can see here, you leave the apartment, you walk past the stairwell, which you can't see, past another person's door, around the corner, to this closet-type bathroom, to which only you have the key. As you can see, a little grimy, a little dingy, kind of just a cupboard, but it is what it is. It is a, you know, cheap, classic old New York building. Um, kind of like an outhouse, but you don't have to go outside, thankfully. So then coming back here, back to the apartment. So as you can see, it is about, you know, 10, 15 steps. So I went to see this apartment about a week ago. I took my own video while I was viewing it. Um, unfortunately, I decided to do a landscape video. So um, it didn't come out as well as the brokers, but here you go. Again, giant window, beautiful exposed brick, um, beautiful hardwood floors, beautiful windows. Honestly, the more I look at this video, the more I realize how gorgeous it is. The ceilings are high. Yes, it is small, but for what you pay, it really is a great deal for the area. Um, giant closet back into the kitchen. Honestly, gorgeous. I would definitely put a desk overlooking this area if I lived here. It's just so nice. I know deals like this are kind of an, an anomaly. Like you don't normally find studios uh, in Soho for, you know, $1,400. But if you go to rentals and then go here. In fact, I actually already have this saved. All downtown apartments for under $2,000. You can literally just go to least expensive and it will bring up all the least expensive apartments in Manhattan, um, lower Manhattan, upper Manhattan, anywhere you wanna go. You can see here, there's already a handful of units for under $1,500. Granted, some are pro promotional rates, but it is still you know, a chance to get a great deal if you can. Remember how I said that studio in the East Village for $1,448 was the best deal on an apartment I've seen in Manhattan? Well, the studio is quite literally giving that one a run for its money. Thank you guys for watching. This is Property Insider, and I will see you next video. Bye, guys.